Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at the FANG stocks, um, we're going to look at um, Intel, and we're going to take a look at uh, Goldman Sachs. And this is FANG with the addition of Apple because Apple wasn't the uh, original F-A-N-G but now uh, you know it's F-A-A-N-G and uh, so now what we have here is Apple closed up 4.8% today. So it, it was the big winner out, out, out of these stocks. And it did make the, the bullish move above uh, 30 on RSI. That's what we were looking for. So it did close at 37. We want to see it stay above 30 now. Um, yeah, it, it, if you've been in our chat, you know that we, we discussed about uh, the Apple being below 30 on RS, RSI, the relative strength indicator. Um, every time, if you look back in history, that it gets below 30, it's been a, a buy zone. And, and, and so just by following that one simple indicator. It was a signal this was oversold and uh, set up for a bounce. Now you have Fasto above 20 at 34. Uh, the, the candles had been riding EMA4 resistance lower. That's the pink line. Currently at 162.23. And, and so the close above that level today was the move that we were looking for. So it needs to stay above that level now. If you see it drop back below 162, that's going to signal that the bounce isn't solid. And you could see it pull back to test that 200-day simple moving average at basically basically 159. <clears throat> we were also uh not only were we playing the relative strength indicator below 30, but we were also playing this red line here, the 200-day simple moving average. Uh, this is a, a, a huge support level for Apple. Um, you know, the, the odds were with, with relative strength indicator at such a low level that it was going to bounce. Also, yesterday's candle did form completely below, the real candle body formed completely below the lower Bollinger Band, and many times the candles will work back into the bands when that pattern forms. That happened today. You know, it happened back here on, on the 30th. The candles worked back in. Candles worked back in. Now it has to stay above EMA4, and the next key level to break is EMA8 at 164.86. If it can get above that, then you have the 100-day simple moving average at 166.7, and the EMA13 at 167. Those will, that'll be the really big resistance zone. I have to get above 167. You know, a, a new uptrend cannot begin until it gets back above this 50-day simple moving average and the middle Bollinger Band up here at this 171 and 172 level. Okay, notice the big volume down here at the uh, the, the bottom of the chart. So there was some heavy loading. You want to see this 8, 13, and 5 have a bullish crossover. Now, uh, Apple did form bullish engulfing reversal pattern today. This is a super strong reversal pattern. So, um, yeah, many times when this forms, there is a follow through. Notice the big white candle today is engulfing the previous red body. And, and so that is signaling uh, more upside potential. So we will be looking for a confirmation of that pattern. Now, if you look at the 15 minute chart, you can see here the uh, chart heated up today. On on the break above the middle Bollinger Band, that's the dotted purple line. Um, when it got above that level at 12, it signaled the chart was heating up. It was struggling all through the day to, to break this green line, the, the, the 50 simple moving average. You know, that's the same zone that it failed to break the last couple times yesterday. And, and, and so today, when it finally got above that level here at, at 230, that was your signal that was ready to break out higher. And then the next level to break was this 100 simple moving average at 162.66. That's the key level to hold. It did close above that level today, so that was a really strong close and the candles were riding EMA4 support into the close so all super strong. If the candles do pull back below that 162 support level, uh, it needs to hold the middle Bollinger Band and the 50 simple moving average. As long as candles are above this green and dotted purple line, this is a bullish chart and the signal is to ride for upside potential. Now if it drops back below, that's going to signal more consolidation. The next key level to break above is that 200 simple moving average at 165. has to get above that level and then we'll be talking about the 300 simple moving average at 160. Once the 300 simple moving average of the 50 minute chart uh, on the 50 minute chart turns into support, that's when stocks really get moving higher. Okay, let's let, take a look here at Amazon. Amazon formed the same candlestick pattern today. Notice the the big white candle today it was engulfing the smaller uh, red candle body from from yesterday, and so this once again formed the bullish engulfing reversal pattern. So very strong pattern. Um, and notice how how Amazon, even though uh, it pulled back, it held that middle Bollinger Band. Th this this is held the uptrend. It's been super strong. Uh, as long as 1353, that's the current uh, middle Bollinger Band level holds, the uptrend's intact. Once it closes below that level, that's when you're going to see some consolidation and a possible drop down to that 50-day simple moving average at 1248. That Now, to the upside, this closing price here uh, on, on the, uh, the, the 31st is the, uh, um, let's see here, uh, 
on the 31st it is the the key level to break as you can see here it's um uh it formed a uh, inverted doji on that day and so if it can get above that level with the close that's going to signal it's ready to head higher that's the the all-time high close here and um, so it's just right below that level and now if it fails to break that level that's going to signal a potential uh double top here and, and so you know it needs to uh, bust above with the close above that level and that'll signal the uptrend still intact and that it wants to push higher notice that there was some really big volume um so so yeah, so so a big bounce for Amazon. We'll see if it can follow through. Now Netflix has the exact same pattern. Once again, bullish engulfing. So uh, Netflix formed the bullish engulfing reversal pattern as well. Uh, we have the white candle engulfing the previous red candle. Uh, notice just like Amazon, it held that middle Bollinger Band. So so Netflix and Amazon take the reward or take the, uh, you know, get the award for being, you know, the strongest of the FANG stocks. You know, even though that there was this big correction and the markets were all scary and they had these huge drop, you know, it, it, it kept the uptrend intact. You know, so it just pulled back to the middle Bollinger Band. Keep in mind, the middle Bollinger Band is always the reload level as long as support holds. So people that that that, that you know are using our, our strategy know that 245 was the reload target uh, on this pullback, and it bounced right off that level and then shot right back above EMA4. That's what you want to see now is 264 hold above 264 for for uh, uh, um, Amazon here or Netflix is signaling more upside potential. Okay, so it's it's going to be putting this high close on deck which is uh, up here uh, on the, the 29th. And, and so if it can get uh, above, you know, hold EMA4, you're looking for a run back up to 285, and then it needs to break that 285 resistance level to head higher. Okay, check a look at uh, Facebook here. Okay, so uh, Facebook um, has uh, formed a, a bullish uh, piercing line reversal pattern today. And um, yeah, if we look here at the candle, um, you can see the, the white candle today. You know, it start the day uh, open below low uh, yeah, the close yesterday and so this is the open down here off of this 100 day simple moving average at 178 bounced off that level and then it closed more than halfway through the uh, it, uh, yesterday's candle which forms a bullish piercing line and so this is a strong reversal pattern as well no, notice Facebook had dropped below that middle Bollinger Band it closed right at that level today so that's 185.43 the dotted purple line if it can close back above that level that's going to signal this uptrend still intact you know it held the, 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 the last couple of times that it's come down it's done the exact same thing notice it, it dropped down hit the 100 and bounced you know drop down hit the 100 and bounced drop down hit the 100 and bounced each time that it's done that you know it's you know it did take a little while here in in december you know and it traded sideways you know got back above and and pushed higher in january and so we're going to see here if we can get back above that middle bollinger band and make a run back up to 193 that closing price in the first trading day in february is the key level to break um yeah so that'll be the next target if that 185 level turns into support okay take a look at google so Google had a nice move today, um, ha had a big bounce as well. And, and so for Google, um, it confirmed the bullish three gap downs reversal pattern. So it had already formed a reversal pattern. Um, there was one, two, three gaps. And then uh, so so the, the three gap downs. And then today the white candle, uh, you know, is confirming this reversal pattern. So so uh, notice that the open was well below that 100 day simple moving average down here at, at, at 1047. Uh, the candles just worked their way back into the bands. This is still in a downtrend. It's still below the middle Bollinger Band. Um, it has a lot of work to do. It has to get above this 50 day simple moving average at 1094. And then it has to close back above EMA4 at 1105. As long as EMA4 four is resistance the bears are still in control so once it gets above that level and turns it into support that's when the reversal can start uh notice over here you know when it had the pullback um the the ema4 the pink line turned into resistance and notice how all the candles rode it lower and then finally on this candle it closed above the pink line and the uptrend continued so that's what we have here it closed you know it, well actually this was the open but th th this is the candle that closed below ema4 the candles have been riding below it has to get back above and that'll be the signal it wants to reverse you know you can look at the same thing here there was a red candle form back here in uh, november you had the close below EMA4. They rode EMA4 resistance lower. Then finally, you had a close above. That signaled the start of the uptrend. So th this is not going to get a sustained uptrend going until you get that close back above EMA4. You can keep it really simple. Um, yeah, let's look at Intel here. So yeah, this was on our our you know big bounce radar. They just got hit by the tsunami. You know, just you know they had bad news on top of the markets pulling back, and then. Uh, <clears throat> 
yeah, even though they rocked it for their earnings, you know, they had that big run up. Um, yeah, the the, the uh, share price just pulled back after that big gap up open. So it had the big gap up open, and then um, you know the indecision candle. When when a candle forms like this with a real candle body above the upper Bollinger Band, completely above, the candles will work back into the bands. That's exactly what happened on this candle. You know, so it doesn't matter if it's a penny stock because we cover a lot of penny stocks, or or if it's a cryptocurrency, or it's a commodity, or it's an ETF, or if it's Intel, it doesn't matter. If you're looking at it on a chart and, and you get the candle above the upper Bollinger Band like this, it signals it's frothing. The candles will likely work back into the bands. And that's what happened here. And so now it came all the way down. And then this was looking like a really good uh, bounce play today. You know, you had the, uh, uh, you know, it was uh, at one point there were seven red candles in, in a row because there, there was a red candle forming. And we did put out alerts that this was a, 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 a load off of 43. So in our chat, we put out alert to, uh, you know, to cut cover your 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 short at, at 43 and that's where people should be looking to play the bounce and that played out freaking perfect um yeah so congrats to everyone that that uh you know is trading the intel and, and so now the big level to break is that 50 day simple moving average it closed right at it at 44.92 if you can get above that level that's going to signal that it's ready to head higher similar to this candle right here you know uh, you know bounced off the 50 here but you know once it gets back above if it fails to get above that 50 then it's going to come back down and test that 100 day simple moving average at 43 it has to get above the middle Bollinger Band in EMAs 4, 8, and 13 to get that new uptrend going. So 46 is going to be a big resistance level. And uh, another one to uh, keep an eye on is uh, uh, Goldman Sachs. I know this is, isn't in the same uh, uh, sector as these tech stocks, but uh, keep an eye on Goldman Sachs. You know, it was really beaten up. Um, you know, it formed the bullish engulfing uh, reversal pattern as well today. And, and so it had that big pullback like the tech stocks. It bounced off of this 100 day simple moving average down here and, and at 246 it got back above that 50 day simple moving average at 255 you want to see it stay above 255 now if it drops below 255 that's going to be a red flag signaling more downside risk it closed below the middle bollinger band and below ema4 right here on the second trading day of february and that signaled the start of a new downtrend so it has to get back above both those levels to get heading higher again so once it gets back above 262 we'll call it that's when you know that that that, that goldman sachs is ready to head higher if it's 262 you know fail to get above this 259 to 262 resistance level that's going to signal this was the top of the bounce so it's going to be real important that uh you know you watch out for these stocks uh starting uh sustained downtrends so it's going to be really important that they get above back above the middle bollinger band if they're currently below on the daily chart or, or or that they hold that level like amazon and netflix if they're currently above okay because you never know you know how this is all going to play out you know the, the key is just to keep following in the charts. If you'd like to learn more, uh, I'll post the link to our chat um, below the YouTube video. Uh, yeah, thanks for checking this out. Um, yeah, all, all, all the stocks that we just mentioned, these are all optionable. These are all stocks that, that we are uh, option trading in our chat. Okay, thank you very much.